we're about to decorate these shirts for Walker Stalker Con. And this is for um, the little after party that they're gonna be doing. And we're gonna do makeup and like have bloody stuff just like everywhere. It's just gonna be a bloody mess. <laughs> it's gonna be a bloody mess! <laughs> Ew! Wow! Yeah! That's scary. <laughs> she is, I'm zooming in on what she's doing. There's your face. <laughs> Gosh. See? It's bleeding. Out. Will it bloody? Why don't you kind of like dump, on, dump it on? I thought about that, but... Hmm. Mm. I haven't got that far yet. Oh yeah. Like yeah, so... <laughs> Ah! Oh my god. It's like. Like that, right? Okay. Fine, Plane. Our flight was delayed by how long? 25 minutes. Like 25 yeah. minutes? Yeah. Something like that. It's already so much fun. <laughs> like, what do I even say? I can't believe this is happening. This is like over a year, maybe a year, like in the making, and like now it's here. I already feel bad for the people who are sitting around us because I'm gonna be on another level. Tell. What are they laughing at? I want to laugh with them. I would have the camera up a little higher, but I had it high earlier and some guy behind us was like, <laughs> trying to give me my block. Just kidding. <laughs> Not that I care. <laughs> seconds ago and so many people just keep coming on the plane and putting their bags in places that they don't fit so we're taking forever see that guy yeah he yeah oh, no, he yeah, fixed it. look at all these people look at all these people still coming in we're supposed to leave probably by now like 60 seconds ago everybody got to bring everything on the plane with them yeah i'm talking about all of you guys you guys we just got here we just got here oh my god we just landed tammy tammy we're here we're here <laughs> we are in atlanta georgia you guys see that i don't even care we're in georgia oh my god where they filmed the walking dead you guys <laughs> Tammy and I just spent maybe 30 minutes, an hour, maybe an hour, oops. <laughs> Pretty much mapping out everything for tomorrow. God, we're just ready for tomorrow. All right, where are we? God, we're almost to Herschel's farm. Freaking out, I don't even, oh God. We're two minutes away. In half a mile, the destination is on your left. It's on our left. Chesselhurst Road. All right, comment below if you've been here and if you have any suggestions on what we should do. Oh my gosh, is that Herschel's no, farm? No, 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 okay, no, it's not. False alarm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. No. I think I'm going to cry. Pay them the should light. Should we say what like, I have to take a dump and we're lost. <laughs> we're from Cali. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, what is oh, all this? No. no. Do we have to take? What is this? I don't want to. No private property? Oh, no. Now let's really say we got lost. Um, I say we ask questions. Video surveillance okay. and use all these. Oh, we got surveillance too. I want to ask if, if we have to go through here if there's a different way. This is really weird. Okay, we're going to go through the mullet. What is this? Room. Respect the mullet. Michelle, much love, stay strong. God, I literally thought that guy in there was Abraham. He literally looked so just sorry. like him. No, it literally, it literally just it yeah, looked just like him. 
where they kept little old Penny. Oh, you scared the crap out of me, dude. <laughs> I don't know, I saw light and movement and I got scared. Okay, so we just left the Walking Dead Cafe and we got some souvenirs. I got a little sign. It says, beware of zombies. Saw a dude that looked just like Abraham. Woodbury, Woodbury, Barry, Burry, however you prefer to announce it. But there it is right there. You guys, I am just like living my best life. A little short story, but we went to try and find Herschel's farm. It was a bus. The cool part about it was, is that we got there and it's the Walking Dead studio. So they literally film stuff there. And she was like saying things like, there's no way that we could ever be able to get there and like all this other stuff. And then we got here, we were talking to the main like manager of like some, some tour that they do here. She's also been a stunt double for Maggie in what, season eight? Yeah, season eight. season eight. We were just telling her how we found out the hard way about going <laughs> to Herschel's farm and like she started like laughing and she was like, oh yeah, like apparently there was, there were these two people who tried to take the back way in the woods trying to find the farm and I guess security was already waiting for them there at the farm <laughs> and like all this other stuff. So yes. it's, it's true when they say that they literally have surveillance everywhere. It makes me sad. <laughs> but also like really cool that we got to see like where they are and there's a bunch of cars over there so i just want to know like what they're filming in that area cool. pretty much if i ever want to see it josh is just gonna have to buy it <laughs> that's alexandria oh my god is that the entrance or what is that oh my god if i could just touch the wall This is unreal. I'm property my butthole. That's that's the main entrance. It has to be. It has to be. Is Oh my god. So this is where like Nigi came from all the Yes, yes. Yes. Little piggy, little piggy. Yes. <laughs> Dun 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 dun. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Okay, just wanted to show this cute little card. It says, Welcome to Alexandria, and then it has like the little, the little fenced off area. And I have to have it from like every town. I've got stuff from Woodbury, well, Sonoya, and then I got this one. So we can't go down much further than that because it's technically private property, but this is after the farm got overrun. They pulled over over here off the side of the road. There's got to be a place now, not just where we hold up, but we fortify, hunker down, pull ourselves together, build a life for each other. I know it, it's out there. We just have to find it. And right down there behind those brick walls is where Rick said that they'd make up camp till they could find daylight again the next day. I'm keeping this group together, alive. I've been doing that all along, no matter what. I didn't ask for this. I killed my best friend for you people, for Christ's sake. You saw what he was like. How he pushed me. How he compromised us. We get one thing straight. You're staying. This isn't a democracy anymore. This is where um, 
right after Shane shoots up all the zombies in the barn, Herschel goes crazy. He goes back to drinking or whatever. Glenn and Rick come and find him and they come in here on this street. They park right there and there's the bar and there's the pharmacy. I'll go see what antibiotics are left. What else is on the list? Uh, why don't you get started? What about you? Um, I'm gonna look around, see what's worth grabbing. Some general stuff. Up here is where Randall, was his name Randall? He was up there. They told him to hurry up. Fighters are coming and he jumps off. There's like a fence here, there's a trash can, I believe. And he gets his leg caught on it. And that's where they, <laughs> they freaking like rip his leg through. We have to go now. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, son, we have to go. No, no don't leave me, please. We no. have to go. No, we can't. He was just shooting at us. He's a kid. Please help me. This place is crawling with walkers. We can't leave him. No, do it now. Come on. Come on. There's no time. Marshall, come on. Please don't leave me, please. No, no, you don't leave me, please. Please don't leave me. Sleeping like always. I'm gonna scare him. Josh, look! Josh! Josh, wake up! Josh! <laughs> I just wanted to scare you. You guys are here to wait right here. Walker, stop your car. Atlanta. You guys literally not even being inside this venue for like 30 seconds, and we see Ross Marquand walk out of the bathroom. I was joking. I was like, hey, Abram. But then I was like, wait, it is Abram. Oh my god, this is insane. Okay, so we're inside and we're by the tattoo section and we're about to get our tattoos done. Holy crap. <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> he was so cool. He was oh my god, he would not like he wouldn't let go of me. He would no. not let go of me. I'm crying. I'm just, I think it's because I'm so happy. I'm so happy, you guys. <laughs> He's cool. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting this. Daryl. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Like, how many people have we met? We're about to meet our sixth person yeah. today. 
Alana Masterson, she was so cute. It's only been like, what, two hours? Yeah. Yeah, it's not even noon yet, and like we're flying through everyone. It's been so much fun today. The party was crazy last night. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> CDC. Oh my god. That is so smart, honestly. Test subject number 19, and that's from season one, episode six. Give me playback of TS-19. Playback of TS-19. Few people ever got a chance to see this. Is that a brain? An extraordinary one. Take us in for EIV. Enhanced internal view. What are those lights? Somewhere in all that organic wiring, all those ripples of light, is you. Death. That's what this is? A vigil? Yes. Or ra rather, the playback of the vigil. Who? Test subject 19. Someone who was bitten and infected and volunteer to have us record the process. What do you guys have to say about this? I can't believe What do you have to say? I know. <laughs> it's crazy to see. Oh my God, this is where it all started. Rick, right there, you walked down those steps. This whole area was covered with bodies. Nothing was even CGI'd now that I think about it and you actually see it. That house is right there. I'll, I'll, I think I'm gonna put a picture in of the episode. <laughs> Honestly, you know what we should do? Recreate it? Yes, we should go down there and recreate every single scene of him walking down the steps. Oh my god, oh my god I'm so excited! Oh my god. This is so awesome. Oh my god. This is just This is just amazing, you guys. We we walked up there and it it like so many people have come here from literally everywhere just to see this exact spot. And they signed it like someone said something along the lines of like you don't know how much you helped someone who had chronic pain and this is just crazy that this show has taken like people from literally all over the world to this one spot right here where he came out of that door right there, walked down those steps and that's when he realized that it was the end of the world. But going up there and actually seeing it, like people signing it, crazy. I've always personally felt really connected to the show and it's always meant a lot to me. So to come here and see that there's literally thousands of people who have traveled from all over the world just to sign that because this show means just as much to them as it does the next person, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, I don't know why the, sun, the sun's on my face. We're in front of Morgan's house. 
I don't know how much longer we can stay here because there's a lot of people outside. And so I'm just gonna like flip the camera and then I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, go. <laughs> there's Morgan's house, oh my God. Okay, we're gonna drive back past um, Rick's house. We're just gonna drive around the corner. I just wanted to like try to get a video of it. So um, we're gonna just drive past it and then I'm just gonna record a little bit of it. Okay, guys. We're gonna drive past Rick's house real quick. Well, in the show, his house. So this is it right here. Woo! How fun! <laughs> Stalker um, previewing of this um, of this Sunday's episode. It's one out of the two episodes that happen to be Rick's final episodes. I just I don't know what to expect at this point. Honestly, I don't I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. It's this big old auditorium. Let me show you. Congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation 